Hi, this is Larry Carter. Let's have a little fun today. Let's talk about the uh, spin, switch, kick. Now, it goes by a lot of different names like tornado kick, butterfly kick. Um, I just uh, choose to use that particular name, the spin, switch, kick, to remind you of the movement that you have to do. Okay, so we're going to do it from a uh, roundhouse kick, and then I'll show you the crescent kick variation of it. So for the roundhouse kick, from here, first thing we're going to do is we're going to spin to our back. Just like so. Just with any spinning technique, the first thing that comes around should be your eyes so you can locate your target and get back on target quicker. From here, I'm going to bring my knee up, get ready to switch, and then in the air, I'm going to switch and roundhouse kick. Let me show you that a couple more times. So from here, kick. Uh, let me get a partner here real quick and just show you in movement how you can use this particular technique. Now, a lot of times I don't just go right into that technique. I set it up. So I have my sparring partner here, and I know that he's a runner. He's always backing up, and I'm never able to kick him with that initial kick. Okay, so maybe what I want to do is set him up. So I'll throw that kick. First kick is a fake fake but real enough to make him move out of the way and then I'll go right into that spin switch roundhouse kick. So from here, fake, spin, and hit. Show one more time, a little bit more fluid. So from here, kick, okay. Now, grab a pad real quick. Now I didn't want to hit my partner that time, but here's a way you can practice it uh, safely. It makes more contact. Now, he's going to back up just a little bit, right about there, and I'm going to make sure I have enough room to throw that first kick. He doesn't have to move, okay? You can incorporate it so that he, you kick the pad twice, but the first one, we're going to miss the pad, go right here, slow motion. I want to step down, I'm going to spin, and kick. Okay, from here, demonstrate again. Okay, one more time. Almost missed the back. <laughs> Face, meat, foot, right? Okay, thanks so much. Let me show you the uh, crescent kick variation real quick of that. The body position is basically the same. The only difference is where your hips are. Instead of having your hips like this to throw the roundhouse kick, keep your hips under you, and you can throw a crescent kick. So from here, I'm going to come around, slow motion, and then keep my hips up. Crescent kick. Let me show you that to you a few times. So from here, press and kick. And then you can put a few together. Go. There you go. The spin switch kick.